Happy holidays! Hey everyone, I cannot believe that the holidays are already here. I seriously feel like it was yesterday where I was celebrating Christmas in July and now I'm celebrating Christmas at Christmas time. <laughs> Anyways, I know that a lot of you are going to be traveling this holiday season and traveling with babies is hard, but I have some tips today to help you guys get your baby to sleep while you're traveling. So if anybody is new to my channel, hello and welcome. I would love to have you subscribe. My name is Missy and I am a certified pediatric sleep consultant. So I am bringing you some sleep tips today for traveling during the holidays. So I have five tips for you guys and let's get right into them. Tip number one is that your baby has to know how to self-soothe before you go on this trip. And self-soothing means that you can put your baby down drowsy but awake in their own space for sleeping, whether that's a crib, a bassinet, a pack and play, wherever you're sleeping, that you can put your baby down in that area and he or she can soothe themselves to sleep. This is gonna be especially important in a new place so you're gonna wanna make sure that your baby can self-soothe before your trip. If your baby doesn't know how to self-soothe, depending on the method that you choose to teach your child to self-soothe, it may take one to two weeks for your baby to learn, so I highly suggest starting now. Tip number two is to bring familiar objects from home. Whether you bring your actual crib sheet that has a familiar smell to your child, a blanket if your child is over the age of one, or if your baby has a lovey, you're gonna wanna bring that. Also bring a white noise machine if you have one. There are tons of apps on cell phones or iPads or whatever you have that there are so many apps that you can use and even if you wanted to use a YouTube video, I have done that before too. You are going to want to bring your room darkening blinds because wherever you are sleeping, it might not be that dark. It's gonna be a lot easier to get your baby to sleep in a dark environment. So get your blackout easy blinds. If you don't have them, I have a link in the description box down below. Another thing that you're gonna wanna bring is some favorite books. Books are a great tool to get your child ready for relaxation and maximum sleep. So make sure you bring those favorite books and get your baby reading with you. That actually brings me to my next tip is tip number three is to to follow the same schedule that you normally follow at home. While you might have a little bit of a harder time following your exact schedule, making sure that your baby has the right amount of sleep during the day is just as important as making sure that your baby has the right amount of sleep during the night. So those nap times are going to be highly, highly, highly important. You're gonna wanna follow that same schedule that you follow at home. Even if it puts a wrench in your plans, you gotta get your baby some sleep. I say this all the time to my sleep clients, but sleep promotes sleep. And if you ditch a nap during the day, expect to wake up during the night. You're also going to want to follow your same bedtime routine that you do at home. You do not want to start any bad habits. So for example, if you're nursing your baby and you always nurse at the beginning of your bedtime routine, which you should, do not start nursing at the end of your bedtime routine while you're on vacation in hopes that your baby will fall asleep during that nursing session. That's just gonna start a bad habit and your baby is going to lose any kind of self soothing skills that they might already have. Tip number four is to give your baby his or her own sleeping space. Whether that is the pack and play, the bassinet, like whatever your baby can sleep in while you're on vacation, bring it with you and let them have their own space to sleep in. Like the previous tip, don't start bad habits by putting your kid in your bed with you because it might only be a day or two or three or four, but still, it's going to create bad habits and your baby is going to want to sleep in bed with you again when you get home. Tip number five is to lay the groundwork. This is basically like doing some homework before your trip. So for example, if you are having your baby sleep in a pack and play on the trip, then for two or three nights before you go on your trip, have your baby play in the pack and play, get familiar with the pack and play, and even if he or she will allow it, let your baby sleep in the pack and play before there's no choice but to sleep in the pack and play. So if you familiarize your baby with that pack and play, then it's going to go more smoothly while you're on your vacation. So those are my five official tips, but most importantly, you do need to be flexible, prepare for imperfection, and if it takes a little bit longer to get your baby down at night, that doesn't mean that it's not working, that doesn't mean that you need to try something else. So prepare for imperfections and know that when you get home, you can work hard at getting back into your perfect routine. Um, I know that I have a hard time traveling sometimes because I don't sleep well anywhere other than in my own bed, but I understand that my children might have that 
that problem too. So while I know it may be hard and it may be stressful, remember that your baby is going to pick up on your emotional cues. So if you are stressed out, your baby is more likely to become stressed out cranky, clingy, crying more. But if you're happier and more calm, then your baby will be too. Enjoy your travels, enjoy your holiday, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!